Hi friends, at iCreate platform, we offer multiple services for your WordPress website. One of the widely used services that is very, very popular among the users that is troubleshooting of a WordPress website. We used to receive multiple queries for troubleshooting of a WordPress website every day. The first thing that we need to know about any website when we start troubleshooting is to know about the PHP constraints, PHP variables and the PHP settings and the PHP values that is being used for that particular website. How we can check the PHP values, how to enable the PHP information for a particular WordPress website this is being the target of this video. So if you own a WordPress website, you should watch this video completely because you never know when you need this information for your website as well. So troubleshooting is not so critical as it is always considered. So I am going to add multiple videos in the coming days about the WordPress troubleshooting. So if you are coming to the channel very first time you may please subscribe this channel and you can also join the iCreate program it is a very wonderful program uh, for your WordPress website your WordPress mentors are here to help you in every respect so I was saying how we can know the PHP values of that is set for a particular website it is very simple if it is enabled and if it is not enabled I am going to tell you how you can enable that in information through your cPanel or the mm, hosting control panel. So we are using this control panel at every hosting and you can also avail the hosting at WP Themes website. We use only WordPress optimized hosting plans so it is important to have a WordPress optimized hosting plans uh, and basically mm, if it is with cPanel it is wonderful and let us see let us understand how we can enable the PHP information. Why the PHP information is important and why it may, may be disabled. Some server, server administrator may choose to disable the PHP functions that is PHP and for, for security reasons because it displays information we, which may be used to compromise the server that your sites is running on and while having php information disabled may make debug debugging problems so if it is not enabled it is difficult for you to understand the php values okay so coming back this is a demo website that we created in the earlier video and to check the php values what we can do we can simply put a slash and type php info okay info.php if it is enabled it will show you the php information but if it is not enabled like this here it is not enabled uh, enabled and it is showing oops the page is not available or for not for page so how you can enable the php info it is very simple First of all, you need to check the PHP INI file at your file manager. So go to the domain and go to the file manager. This is the file manager. And if there is a line, I will tell you which line you need to check. When you will go to the file manager, I'll show you uh, from the very beginning. So this is the domain name instance 21. And if we are going to the files, that is the root folder we can find the php ini file is here and we can further view the information so the line that i wish to mention is not available here so basic settings are available but the line through which we can control or enable or disable the php ini is not available so which line i will show you if you can see the disable underscore function equal to php info in the php ini file you have to remove the php info part from the li line of code like it should look like this 
then it will the php info will be enabled but if the line is not available what i'll do i'll create a php info page first of all so this is another solution if the line is not available you need to create php info page how you can create the php info page it is very simple simply go to the file manager be on the same route where the php ini is already there just click on the file type php info dot php like this and create a new file a new file php info dot php will be created and you can see the content it contains nothing okay so it, it so what we need to do next we need to add a line of code so we will simply click on edit or select the file you can click on edit here or right click or edit here it will show and warning but you can proceed further we need to add a line of code also which line of code we need to add this is the line of code you can simply write this line of code from this video i'll also uh, put the link of blog where you can get this code and simply copy this and paste here and save the changes okay so now php ini you have nothing to do with the php ini file this is the php ini, INI file if you don't have that particular line which i shown you then close this you don't have to do anything we have created a new php info file and updated a line of code here and next we have to simply close this now go to the website and since the, we have created php info page so we will open the same page here php info.php simply hit enter and it will show you the php information now from this php information you can come to know about all settings for php that has been done for your particular website this is this particular website is running php version 8.1.19 and we can see the values as well like the important value like entry hint is here the master value is the server value and the local value that has been set for your website and as you know you can set the values uh, in php uh, multi php ini editor i'll also show you that so where you can change the values so first of all let me show you the values this is the url data exe file and all the values are here okay all the main values that we always use to say to every installation uh, every uh, troubleshooting steps that the maximum execution time it should should be increased and the local value is here and the server value as i said is 60 and then it has been uh, increased to 10000 and for the file uploads and the uh, input time is very important this is 60 it is now 12000 input variables initially it was 1000 now changed to 5000 the memory limit 512 512 similarly the postmark size and all the settings that has been done for your website you can simply check what is enabled or disabled like c url version what which version is being used at your uh, website exif if enabled so it is very important another thing and i can show you the image geek this is also uh, important and it should be enabled so all the values you can check and if just in case if any value is not enabled or not available you can ask your hosting provider to enable or provide the same so now where you can change the values so i am going to show you there are two ways uh, how you can change the php values basically uh, i'll go to the c panel again and first of all i'll show you where we can change the values and how it impacts the php in profile multi php ini editor is here under software you can find this option just select the domain which domain is this one is 21 so we can select the domain 21 here and it will show you like maximum maximum execution time is set to 10000 we can change it just for showing you it is for 20000 or so 
and simply hit the apply button similarly you can change all the values all the main values are here can be changed from here uh, post max size the memory limit input variables and the input time so i will show you the php info again uh, we changed the 10000 to 20000 okay we change the maximum execution time to from 10 to 20 let me refresh the page maximum execution i'm just refreshing this now it is simply 20000 so if it is not taking effect just in case it might be restricted from the hosting provider uh, and you should approach to hosting provider in our hosting plan everything thing is open and you can change everything from this uh, php ini basic settings section further just in case if you have the access on the editor mode as well you can edit uh, update the values to this editor mode as well it is very simple it is same it is same value as we seen in the php ini file in the uh, file manager this is the value so i believe uh, you will be able to do this at your own just in case if you need any support and if you have any question write the question in the comment section of this video and you can also get in touch with us or a wp mentor through this mentor connect option and in the next video i am coming with next troubleshooting guide so keep watching keep be connected and make wonderful wordpress website thank you